Hey you! So as you can tell, this is my second video this week, and I'm actually having thoughts of making a third one, but like I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like it really depends on how I'm feeling this week, and I do have a busy week up ahead. If another video doesn't come out this week, then like yeah, don't don't be disappointed, please. So before I get started on today's reaction, um, I just want to clear things up. For the time being, I won't be doing another reaction slash review series like I did for Miss Marvel. I'm still trying to figure out the direction of this channel and ultimately I might drift away from making reaction vids because if I'm being honest, like I don't want this to be a reaction channel altogether. I feel like this channel has potential to be so much more. I have gotten requests to talk about the new MCU shows and to um, to react to other trailers, but like I'm just, I, I need to take a break from this, which is funny because here I am about to react to the Little Mermaid trailer, even though I said that I want to drift away from making reaction videos. This is not going to be the last reaction video I make on my channel. Like there's, there's definitely going to be more in the future, but it's like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like I just want to try new things with this channel and I hope it gets the reception that it deserves. So yeah, that was that for my little intro. Uh, so let's get on to The Little Mermaid. I know I'm filming this on Tuesday and I think the teaser came out on Friday night. I believe this was during the D23 Expo. Usually I don't care for Disney's live action films, especially the retellings of their animated classics. However, Miss Halle Bailey is Ariel. And this isn't the first time we've seen a um, black woman play a Disney princess in a live action setting. I mean, we're not gonna forget like Brandy back in like, was it 1997 when she was Cinderella? And to this day, it's still the best Cinderella. Lily James, I love you, but like Brandy has like a special place in my heart. And also Miss Kiki Palmer was Cinderella on Broadway. So I don't know if it's like Disney's Cinderella on Broadway, but yeah, Miss Kiki Palmer was <laughs> Miss Kiki Palmer. Miss Kiki Palmer was Cinderella on Broadway. So here we have another talented black woman playing a Disney princess, and I'm I'm so excited. I think this was back in 2019, I believe, but I remember hearing that um I remember hearing the news that Halle Bailey was casted as Ariel and I just let out the biggest oh cuz at the time um she was making music with Chloe because yeah, I mean, she's one half of Chloe and Hallie and um, she and her sister were also on Grownish and I, I loved their characters on Grownish. And yeah, I think Hallie is such a perfect choice for Ariel. Like I, I don't I don't care for the discourse that like Ariel can't be black, but like Hallie can sing. And, I mean, Chloe too, but Hallie, like if you've heard the two of them sing, like their music is absolutely refreshing. So yeah, I'm really happy that Halle Bailey is doing this. I'm, I have to, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but like I'm trying to make sure I don't accidentally say Halle Berry because Halle Bailey and Halle Berry sound so similar. No, but it was so funny because like when the news went out, people were congratulating Halle Berry. It, it would, it would have been nice to have Halle Berry on this too. No, but at this point, I would love to see both Halle's in the same room together. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right on to the reaction video. Okay, so here we are. It is at not even 90 seconds. It's fine. All right, The Little Mermaid. Let's get it. Oh yeah, 100 years of Disney. Gorgeous.
I can't believe that was it. I, I wanted more. Oh, man. All right, you know what? Um, I'm not going to end it here just yet. You know, let me just bring out my computer again. But yeah, my first impressions of that teaser. Oh, Hallie's going to do amazing. I'm, I'm so excited for her. <laughs> I really wish we saw more of the characters, but I mean... Hey, it's only a teaser, you know, and this is only about Ariel. Okay, so I'm reading the premise here. The Little Mermaid tells the story of Ariel, the youngest daughter of King Triton. Yeah, definitely like the definitely like the animated classic. What I hope though for this retelling is that there isn't like some of the problematic tropes that you see in older movies. Like I hope that this movie doesn't send the wrong message to younger girls watching this on like, I don't know, like, because, okay, in, in the animated original, you know, we see, you know, Ariel having a crush on Eric and like, you know, she's, she's so in love with him and then she runs away from home because, you know, her dad doesn't accept her crush on him and I mean basically that is how the story is but like I, I really hope that they don't incorporate harmful tropes that can send the wrong messages. I don't know. I mean e okay even like for example Sleeping Beauty and Snow White right like I mean we both know like how the princesses woke up right. I don't know I really I really hope I'm making sense. <laughs> So yeah, okay, let me look at this casting list. Yeah, Prince Eric, I don't know who this man is. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy is Ursula. Um, I remember Lizzo wanted to be Ursula and <laughs> I was um, I was a little sad at first that she didn't get to do it, especially because she is a singer. But I do like Melissa McCarthy too and I can't wait to see how she pulls this off. So Javier Bardem is King Triton. I remember we were hoping that Idris Elba gets to be the king, but I guess not. Yep, David Diggs as Sebastian. I, I think he's perfect for the role. Jacob Tremblay as Flounder. I think he's perfect for that role too. <sighs> Aquafina as Scuttle. I'm just gonna read this before I judge. Um, yeah, a dim-witted diving bird and a friend of Ariel's to whom she provides inaccurate descriptions of any human surface world object Ariel finds. The character will be portrayed as a female diving bird instead of a male seagull, as in the original, in order to feature the character in underwater scenes. My biggest question though is, how do I say this without being rude? I really hope that she doesn't use a black scent in this role. If anything, like that's how she got famous in the first place. I'm not trying to be like a big Aquafina anti, but like, if you got to where you are in your career at the expense of culturally appropriating from other communities, especially the Black community, which we know all too well. Hi, so my phone decided to stop recording. That was rude. And based on the last thing I said, that was racist. <laughs> this is definitely a sign that I should get a camera. What I was trying to say was that if you got to where you are in your career at the expense of culturally appropriating from other races, then that's not a good look on you and any product, any project that you're involved in, people are more likely to turn away from it. I didn't want to open this can of worms, but I don't understand the argument that The Little Mermaid can't be Black. First of all, Halle Bailey earned that role fair and square. She can sing. She's definitely Disney princess material. Second, in the original folklore, the mermaids had green skin. That worked with the sea monsters in Disney's Luca, but it would be insulting for the Black community if that was the case in The Little Mermaid. Case in point with The Princess and the Frog and Pixar's soul, the plot doesn't involve them in their human state 100% of the time, and for the most part, they're not visibly Black. They're just frogs and souls. Plus, when Ariel becomes a human and walks on land, she's not going to be green. That's just not realistic. But I do like how humanized she looks, especially with her beautiful black skin. 
I just find it comical that the fact that Ariel is black is even a problem. Meanwhile, let's just ignore that another woman of color made a career off of having a black scent and still hasn't apologized to the black community and that black people even have to code switch in order to be taken seriously. So that's just my two cents. Other than that, I can't wait for the full trailer to come out. I have a good feeling about this and I hope Disney doesn't let this flop. I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It's funny how I said in the beginning of this video that like I was planning on making a third video, but I guess I have to delay it. I, I really don't want to repeat this situation again. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Like, I tried to airdrop the footage onto my computer, but no, I had to do it the the old-fashioned way where, you know, you have to plug it plug your phone into your computer but yeah that that was a headache and i don't i don't want to have to do that again at least my phone did not stop recording mid reaction because if that was the case then i would have had to throw the entire video away and i would have been so mad but yeah i hope you have a great rest of your week and you take care bye